Hi, happy Equinox. I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel. Hey, this is an Equinox and actually, frankly, I think we should all be glad that we are officially out of winter. Although <laughs> here in Chicago, it can still be winter and it just does happen from time to time. But the theme of this season is change. This is usually the most turbulent season. There's a lot of uh, wind. I'm gonna make some recommendations for you. Number one, do some maintenance. Maintenance on your stuff. Maintenance on things like your car, your appliances. You know, like just check things. See what needs to be done. This is a really tough thing to like kind of keep up with, but as we're seeing, we're heading into some other energy where things are going to break down. Do it ahead of time. Be preventative. Another thing, use your light body. Use your light body to be preventative, okay? We always get that little fluctuation of sometimes you can be a little bit sick because it gets hot, it gets cold. I know people who swear to God that they will be like, all I did was drink cold water and now I've got a sore throat. Yeah, because sometimes that stuff just doesn't, it's hard for us to keep up with. You know, there's like a lot of fluctuations in the energies. Okay. You're still going to see things that um, need fixing, that people should be working on, deferred maintenance. I mean, this is, this should be something that people are paying attention to. For some reason, on the DM side of things, you know, the, and I'm going to say the masculine mind, there's a lot of people that use their masculine mind, the analytical side. It gets way too analytical and there's not enough action. We need to bring that to the middle. And sometimes there's too much latitude on the other side and it's like too lax. Okay. Find the balance in your own life, how that is for you. Where can you devote your energy to? What can you be preventative about? What can you attend to? Are there things, deadlines that you have coming up? Pay attention because it is going to go very rapidly. We are racing here towards a uh, objective towards a new timeline. There's a lot of push to get people into the new paradigm. And you have to be cognizant of that. You are the only one who can make some changes. Otherwise, it just kind of steamrolls you. How would you like to be proactive? Yes. Excellent. I like hearing that you want to be proactive. Anyways, I always have classes. I have sessions to help you to determine what it is. Uh, just recently, I have had two people that want to talk about a divorce. And here's the thing. What do you do with your emotions? Because a highly emotional divorce will cost you. A highly emotional breakup will cost you. It costs you energy. It costs you effort. It costs you your sometimes your own self-esteem. And it can cost more money than it needs to. What other kinds of breakups? What other things do you need to find out or really assess? Do you need to find a different house? Do you need to find another place to live? Okay, I am having a class coming up where getting your light body open so that these answers can come specifically for you and that you get to ask question and answers. There are activations in there for the parts of you that need to connect to your 5D love and energy so that you can affect the changes you need very smoothly, much more seamlessly than you have in the past in the old paradigm. Are you still gonna do it the karmic way? Are you still hanging on to your karmic situation? Those changes are coming and those should be positive changes for you. Change is not easy for any of us, but making change, taking a baby step forward, it should start with your light body, your brand new light body, your healing, your overcoming situations. That is what I teach about things like addictions, lifestyle changes, life changes, life transitions, all of this stuff, it's hard. 
It can bring up all kinds of aspects of your inner child, your childhood, how your family deals with it, how their relationship patterns are. Pump the brakes, join us, and I hope to see you there. Check out the links below and check out my website. Thank you. Have a good one. Enjoy this spring season. I hope it brings you joy. I hope that you feel energized. I hope that the enlivening of the animals and the earth really speaks to you and helps you. When you walk around, look for the flowers poking out of the ground. That's always what encourages me. Birds, animals, the flowers popping up and starting to bloom no matter what. No matter if snow dumps on them, they're like popping up. And they should and they will because that is the nature of things. Bye now.